Hey guys. So I went and got the fourth shade of the LA Girl Shade Shifter Dual Chrome Eyeshadows. So I have all four now. So I'm going to do a look today using all four colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with Profusion Pigment Base Eyeshadow Primer. I did a video reviewing this product and I love it so much. I got it at Walmart. They don't have it at every Walmart. Um, and I don't know what the status of this product is because one of you had left a comment saying that they found it in the clearance section at Walmart. So I don't know if that means that they're not going to be carrying it anymore. But I bought two tubes, so I have, you know, a decent amount right now. But I would like to try to find something with a similar formula that is easier to find without having to order it online or, um drive a million miles to get to but I really like this the the coverage is fantastic it's um it's got a nice thickness to it it's tacky when you put really shimmery eyeshadows over it you don't get any fallout okay and I'm going to put um, a little bit along the lower lash line as well because I want to drag one of the colors along there too. So I'm just trying to take a really small amount. And hopefully this won't mess up my concealer. All right, so um, I think a black eyeliner on the waterline would really make the look that I'm going to do pop. So I'm going to do that first. This is the Ioni Pencil Eyeliner in Black. It's going to be hot and humid today, so hopefully this eyeliner won't migrate too much. I do have to go out today. All right, I smudged it a little bit, so I'm just going to take a Q-tip with some eye makeup remover and fix that off camera. And then I took the clean end of the Q-tip that I didn't use and just put a tiny bit, a little more base because when I used the makeup remover, it took some of that off. All right, so the most neutral shade in this range is Aura. It's like a rose gold. So I'm going to start with that and I'm just going to take a synthetic flat shader brush. The last time I used this I patted it on with my finger but I feel like I can get more control with the placement if I use a blush, a brush. And I think if I use a flat synthetic brush and use a patting motion I think I might make out okay. And it would help if I moved my camera, moved my mirror over a little bit so you can see better. Yeah, 
these are so pretty and some of them have more shift than others some of them I can't even see a shift to be quite frank but they're just so pretty all right so I'm putting that maybe three quarters of the way over and then this is the the last one I got which is sunset so I'm just gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna put that in the outer portion of my lid and I think this one is gonna have shift to it I'm gonna overlap this with that other shade a little bit so we don't have any gaps in between. Okay, now I'm gonna take a clean flat shader brush. And I'm gonna go into Jade, which is the green. And I'm going to put some of that in the inner corner. And then I'm going to flip my blush, brush over and use the purple topaz. It's like a purpley blue. And I'm going to put that along the lower lash line. And now I'm going to go back to the other brush. And flip it over and go into sunset. Add a little bit more to this eye. Wow, sunset's got a lot of shift to it. All right, I'm going to take um, this small blending brush and I'm gonna go into Sunset. And 
and I'm going to put that, extend that into the crease. Very lightly though, because we've got so much going on the lids that I'm just going to do this a little bit. Okay, I don't like the way these are responding in the crease, so I'm going to go into this Profusion Spectrum palette, and I think I'm going to do the Blue Nautical. Now that's mixing with what I put down there, but it's giving it a more um, more presence in the color. Highlight I used on my face is uh, Irradiant White from Just Pigments, and this is just a uh, shimmery white. So I'm just going to take a clean brush and just put a little bit of that on my brush and tap off, tap off the excess, and I'm going to do that for my brow bone highlight. Oh, that's better. I didn't have the light shining near there. Now when I turn my head, you can see the um the green. Yeah, what color did I use there? I think it was um sunset is what I think I used. It's it's a green gold shift. And you can definitely see it better over here than you can here. So why don't I put a little bit more on this side. I 
It's funny because I can see it in the makeup mirror fine, but it isn't translating on camera. I don't know why it's coming off pink on camera. Hmm. This side here is the one that you can see good. Oh, it's the lighting. All right, let me see if I can change the lighting so you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, I brought in another light and set it up on the other side of me so that you could see the shift on both eyes because um, there wasn't enough of a bright light over on this side because I was using my makeup mirror and that was creating an imbalance. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, because it looks kind of crazy with just eyeshadow right now, so I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to do my lower lashes with the Ioni Volumizing Black Mascara. And my top lashes with the Ioni Dramatic Black Mascara. And let's hope I don't smudge everything because this brush is enormous. But it's a really nice mascara, so it's worth um, trying to deal with the big brush because the formula is so nice. And for an intense look like this, this calls for false lashes. And I'm going to use the Ioni England lashes today. And one of you had suggested, when I ruined that other pair of lashes that I was going to use that time, one of you had suggested that I take a Q-tip with makeup remover and run it along the band to loosen it up enough so that I could pull the lash off without damaging it and I thought that was an excellent idea because you know my knowledge of false lashes is not uh, very extensive so that's what I'm gonna do I'll be right back so I originally recorded the part where I was doing the false lashes but it took forever for me to get it right um, so I edited that part out so that you wouldn't have to sit through it and watch the struggle but this is the completed look and um, I think it turned out all right. I really like using all the colors together. And um, thanks so much for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.